of the High Court. Salaries paid to KCCS staff were the cause of anger for members of parliament on the Presidential Affairs Committee, which cited wastage of taxpayers' money. According to the salary scale, the authority's executive director gets a gross pay of 11 million shillings. What shocked the MPs the most was that a driver was getting paid 7 million shillings in the period between 1st June and 30th June 2011. Carlos amounts of money, if you look through here, yes. where does the executive director get the powers? Money. Appoint people and he continues to pay money from the consolidated fund. In the first two weeks, you saw she earned gross three million. Then in a month, you witnessed from the document standard in that she got another 11 million. Unless she brings evidence to the contrary. But you've been spending without approval. This is a driver to the executive director. He earns 7 million, 69,000 shillings per month. The act that established the Kampala Capital City Authority provides a transition period during which all the staff reapply for the jobs. Currently, the authority's only employee is the executive director, Jennifer Musisi, while the rest of the staff are consultants. The consultants say they are supposed to work for eight hours, but claim that they work overtime. I'm greatly shocked that a driver in this country is earning seven million. We are greatly shocked. We have to verify it from her. That is a very big shock. Otherwise, we can cause problems in this country. The teachers are demanding for an increment, an increased pay. They go to the same market with these, with these drivers. To get clarification on KCCA's expenditure, the committee has summoned the Minister for Presidency and the Executive Director to explain the payments. They are expected before the committee on Tuesday. Hilara Yesiga, NTV at 1.